Street foods are a part of a nation culture. Street foods are not only attractive, convenient, and express more clearly the accents of that culture. By far, street foods have become familiar to Hanoi people. A lot of foods are associated with the street names. When entering these streets, people with culinary passion will feel happy and satisfied. Thus, Hanoi has been voted by world-recognized travel magazine Lonely Planet as one of the ten cities with unique street food culture around the world. Drawing a walk in Hanoi in the evening, nothing is more interesting than enjoying a sidewalk to eat and watching the lights up. Most people in Hanoi think that the harder we find the dishes, the better they are. Therefore, eating street foods with friends in front of the crowded streets has become an interesting habit of Hanoians. Today, we will enjoy a trip with sharing Vietnam's guests to experience significant dishes for summer in the most unique street food hub in Hanoi. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam on VTC Tender Vietnam Mong Nhan. As in the introduction clip, we'll talk about street food in our program today. So I bet that a lot of you will be so excited to work this topic, especially summer is coming, mm, summer street food. So in our program today, we have a talk to Mr. Steve Wilson, a young Australian man who had just came to Vietnam and even share experiences of enjoying the street food in Hanoi capital city. Thank you, Steve Wilson, for joining our program today. So first of all, how long have you been living in Vietnam and have you ever tasted any kind of street foods here? I've been living in Vietnam just over three months now. I started off in Haiphong uh, teaching volunteer English and I was always also uh, managing a hostel in the old quarter. So I've experienced quite a lot of street food around especially the old quarter, but also outside of. The main dishes, which is probably the most popular one around Hanoi and most of Vietnam, is the pho. And I quite enjoy the dish. And there's many other dishes that I have tried, but I really like the street food here. It's, it's quite easy to access. It's very quick. And you order it and you've got it in two minutes. And uh, it's very cheap. So what are the differences of street foods in Hanoi that you may see? Yeah, so I think the street food here in Hanoi like I said, it's, uh, it's very delicious. Um, I mean, they, they prepare it quite quickly and they put quite a few different ingredients in it that I, I've never sort of tasted before. You know, I've eaten at, in uh, many countries around the world and I think it has quite a unique taste. Uh, the herbs, spices that they put in the food and the way that they cook the meat and uh, brew the broth is is certainly unique to any of the other countries that I've visited. Um, they do have pho in Australia, which I've eaten many times in Australia, but it's, it's different over here. I think it's much better made over here. So among all the street foods that you ever tasted, what is your favorite dish? Uh, I can't exactly remember the name of it, but it's a dish. Uh, it's traditionally, it's from Haiphong. Uh, it comes with uh, brown noodles. I'm not exactly sure what uh, they're made of, whether it's rice or not. Um, it's served with peanuts, and the soup is actually served on the side. So you, you can put the soup in if you want. I prefer to have it without the soup. But the spices and the taste of it is, uh, I find, much more delicious than your regular pho. Summer is coming as well, so the street food of summer will be so exciting and interesting and delicious. So right now I think of an idea that we should go outside and taste some kind of street foods in Hanoi for summer. Fantastic, that sounds good to me. I hear it gets very hot in summer. I'm preparing myself for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that sounds good to me. Fantastic. Hanoi is famous for various delicious dishes. However, finding a place with many delicacies is still many people's concerns. We decided to go to Ngo Dung Xuân, a familiar address of many Hanoians. Because their location is next to bustling Dong Xuân market, the shops here are open from early morning until evening. 
Hello everyone, this is Not Ocean Street. This is the very famous street for diversified stores of street foods in Hanoi. Are you excited to discover street? I'm very excited. It's a very small street and I've never eaten here before. Yes, I'm excited to try the food. So let's go. This pie is narrow path. People will find a lot of food stores after walking through. Here you should not ignore food too. A dish with strange name that turned out to be extremely familiar. Porks are cooked to give full and sweet taste. Soft wine noodles are served with peanuts, sliced onion, and vegetables. The most noticeable thing is the sweet and sour taste of fudu. When pouring soup, seller would add a spoonful of vinegar to make a sour taste for the soup. Thus, the dish become more delicious. Light and less cloyed, suitable for summer. Do you like this? Yes, yes, this is my uh, it's my favorite type of uh, um, the peanuts mixed in with this. Yeah, it makes it a lot more delicious than the regular pho. It gives it a lot more flavor. I think the meat, the meat, the flavor from the meat as well, mixed up with this broth is it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's definitely my favorite dish to dish in Vietnam. And the flavor is really light, so it's suitable for a summer. Yes, most definitely suitable for a summer dish. For many people, eating on the sidewalk and watching the crowded streets makes them feel free and comfortable. Other street foods are famous for quick service and convenience. People can join immediately while it's still hot. Some other famous dishes in Ngodong Suan are Bang Seo, Bun Cha on sticks, and snail vermicelli, etc. This is like a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is a corn. This is like a kind of, I don't know, this is from Chinese or something. Okay, yep. This is a great food. This is like a, an ingredient that we normally use it for the Thai food. Apart from traditional types of sweet soups such as corn, grapefruit, black beans, red beans, the store also sells caramel, sticky rice yogurt, and other desserts. These are a few of the significant dishes of Hanoi. Hanoi street foods are diverse and seasonal. Therefore, this city has become an attractive tourist destination of local and foreign tourists. The simple and softer street foods also contain cultural elements and styles of Hanoi, which cannot be found in any other region. Welcome back to our program today. So what do you think about our experiences today of tasting street foods in Hanoi? Well, first of all, I'm very full. You fed me very well. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, sweet soup, which I've never tried before. I don't know why. <laughs> I would love to try that again. Uh, again, we had the pha trong. That's right, it's a mixed pha. I believe it's got some peanuts in it. Uh, that, again, was very delicious. I enjoyed that more than your regular farbo. I mean, I'm, I'm very keen to go out and try some more street food because I know there's hundreds of different dishes that I haven't tried yet and I wouldn't know where to find them. So that is all about the street food in Hanoi. So how about the street food in your country, Australia? What are the differences? Yep, so in Australia, where I'm from, um, most of the food that you get, you would normally walk into a shop uh, or a cafe, restaurant, somewhere that sells a specific kind of food. Uh, there's actually not too much in terms of street food in Australia. Uh, in Melbourne particularly, you would only find that normally close to the CBD in the central of the city. Um, they have these vans that drive around. In the back of the van, they open up the side of the truck and they can sell things like hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, tacos, lots of Mexican food. Uh, these foods are obviously not traditionally Australian food. They sell uh, American food 
out of it that a lot of Australians enjoy to eat. Uh, but traditionally, Australian food, um, you've got things like meat pies and sausage rolls. Uh, again, they're not quite sold on the street. You can get them in milk bars, restaurants, cafes, uh, but it's not too much food that is sold out on the actual street like they are in Vietnam. It's quite different. Right. So what about the unique features of the street foods in Hanoi? Um, namely, its style, its cooking style, its flavor, or a taste? So uh, I think the, the summer street food in Hanoi is uh, quite unique. Uh, I've tried many dishes from all around the world, and a lot of them don't have exactly street food. But in Hanoi, the summer dishes are very delicious. They have a, a unique flavor that, that goes very well, I would say, with the weather. You know, it's quite hot. It's quite humid. People want to sit down and have a dish yes. that makes you kind of relax and escape the heat a bit. Mm. Um, the flavors that you experience are, are very good. I mean, all of the broths that you have in any soup dishes are quite delicious in terms of they, they have a, a good spice and salty mix. Uh, they have a good amount of vegetables, so they're all quite healthy as well. Mm. And your portion of meat, whichever meat you choose. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. So last but not least, can you share with us your plan of introducing street foods in Hanoi to all of your friends and foreigners coming to Vietnam? I was uh, working at a hostel in the old quarter. I had many people, foreigners, who had come on their first day. You know, they've just got off a plane, they've just got to the hostel, they're very hungry, they're very tired. They say, where can I go to get something to eat? Uh, I've known quite a few shops around the area of Old Quarter. Uh, I would normally always suggest pho first, simply because it is the number one traditional dish in Hanoi or the whole of Vietnam in general. Uh, the best thing about pho and uh, bang mi is that they are very quick to make. Uh, people can go out and get a bang mi or a pho and they order it and it's ready within minutes. Vietnamese food to foreigners, any of my friends that come over, which I will have a few coming over, um, I would basically walk them around the streets of Hanoi. Uh, especially, there's a, I, I seem to find the best food Uh, in smaller streets that are much less known. And so the bigger shops, uh, they pump out a lot of food, but I find the quality is sometimes not as good as if you walk down and get lost down an alleyway and you find a tiny little shop with a bunch of, uh, bunch of you know, far shops or fish or whatever there is. And it's mainly just uh, Vietnamese people eating there. You'll very rarely see any foreigners there. So if I were to take a foreigner down there, they would be, they would be able to taste you know, a real traditional Vietnamese dish in which I think I find uh, more, much more delicious than what you would get on the big main busy streets in Hanoi. Thank you so much, Steve Wilson, for joining our program today. And that was the end of our program, Sharing Vietnam for today. Talking about street food in Hanoi, it will be so exciting and so exhilarating. So if you're interested in the street foods in Hanoi, let's come to our city and enjoy it and may share your ideas toward our street foods in Hanoi via email sharingvietnam at netvietv.net. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.